What's going on guys and welcome back to City Skylines. Last time was our first video within the series and we managed to get up a little starter town where we have a little 2x2 two two rod as our entrance which then leads to a roundabout which does need a bit of a clean up and then goes to our residential mixed with our commercial on the north side and then our industrial set on the west side. So today we're just going to advance on and just see what happens. I've got no designated plan. All I know is one, we had a bit of a fire outbreak last time and I don't think we added our uh, fire station in here which we haven't we can see everything's kind of red uh and we don't have oh we do have a medical clinic oh yeah because we was out of cash i remember now i remember so let's um let's get a fire station in here uh i think i'm just gonna stick this maybe next to the uh the uh what's it called rod here uh not the rod the uh clinic uh, and hopefully that helps, just because I don't really want to put these on one of these rods here, just because if they've got to turn around, they'll come along here, turn around here. I'd rather do that on a, like a possible main rod, kind of. But like I did say, I do want to look at cleaning this up, because uh, there has been the recent update recently, and there was many packs, the new stadiums come out, the new roads, all this kind of stuff. Uh, and a lot of things have changed, and I do need to quickly check, which I've not done for this video, so there could be a few issues, and hopefully not, is one is with the, the, the roads. I think we should be all good, because we've got loads of new roads in here now. Uh, but also, if there's any uh, deprecated mods as well. So I will update the mod link as soon as possible when I get time to do it, and I will let you guys know, and hopefully it will be done by the next video that comes out. But if we look in the Unify UI, we do have the intersection marking tool, which is a really good mod, and I spend way too many, well, too many hours and uh, working with this because it's just such a good tool. Because, for example, I can literally come into this intersection here and I can start playing around and create lines, for, for example, like this, uh, just when needed and just make things a lot more cleaner and tidier. And then we can just remove them if we just if we don't like them there, because I'm going to remove them for because I'm giving you a bit of an example. But we also uh, obviously have the um, TMPE, so we can go into oh, what's new? So this is March of 2020, uh, March 2022, March 2022, which is the current new version. So this mod has also been updated, like the fix a lot of stuff, updated, improved compatibility with more paths, compatibility parts with the game update, which is good. Um, but let's see if we have a look at junction edit here and we can kind of turn off the actual uh, crossing here because we don't want this. We don't want crossings halfway through a bloody roundabout, do we? So let's turn all of these off and we'll do this around the whole junction just like this so nobody actually crosses here. Otherwise, we're going to have backup traffic. The cars will slow down where we need to. So let's do all of this. And there is a mod which I've got installed as well, which is part of the pack, which is if I do this, it actually removes the crossing as well. Normally, TMPE does not do that. So I've got a little mod that add-ons to the TMPE, which is this, which disables. And then if I wanted to... Uh, oh, let me go back into this and show you. Here is... I turn off the walkway there, there, and there. Just look how, look how these are placed, right? So I'm just going to leave these here, for example. I mean, because it kind of just fades out. It doesn't look that good. Uh, but if we go into the... Uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called now. Intersection marking tool. We can see these big lines at the back here. So if I click this, I can actually uh, hold shift and I can actually bring this one across here like that. And it creates a new one. It's not as bright, but we can change the color of it by going into here, making it brighter and can make it red if I wanted to and all that kind of stuff. And it's just kind of finding the balance of what works within your city and stuff. Uh, but they look a lot better than these ones here. I don't like this random fade uh, right there. And they kind of look a bit wobbly and janky and all that kind of stuff. But they look a lot better just to week around with the color and stuff. And uh, it seems that you guys have voted for me to build during the daytimes, but then do some cool time lapses when I'm doing some builds. Or you just want to see some city with some nice little landscapes and stuff. Uh, some, like, skyscraper shots and stuff and i'll do some like time stuff with that so oh we do need to do a uh a, a thingy over here i was going to say a playstation but i mean <laughs> a police station which we do uh, have enough cash for it's twelve thousand, and we do have 1166 our weekly income so we can't afford it and i am going to just put this down here at the side of this one as well um and the town is coming along it's not in a place where i want it or it's good right now but 
this is how they all start, right? We start off small, we work our way through, we we build, we demolish. Uh, and we definitely want to look at bringing a, uh, more of a residential area down here, um, for sure. Because we are running out of space, but this mountain, well, this mound here, unless... I don't think there's anywhere we can technically build up here, but we have a bit more room down here. Uh, yeah, and I don't think anywhere up there. We could maybe put like an observatory up here or something and make a road, so kind of might look cool. Uh, we've also got this bit across here, which eventually... We will take this road across over there, probably over like an overpass uh, for sure. Or maybe an underpass, who knows, whatever's going to be cheapest. And I think it's going to be an overpass that will be. Uh, and then eventually um, we'll start pulling people off, maybe along here, maybe change this junction up uh, to allow people to come through here uh, and then around here as well. Because I think that's leading uphill, isn't it? Yeah, that's leading uphill. The only thing we've got really got right now is over here, the flat areas. We can kind of see these like lightish green areas here, which will be good for farmland um so then we've got all this running around here as well i'm probably going to do some form of terrain manipulation at some point um just to allow easier pathing to get up to the tops and work around with the terrain and stuff and uh, what's this over here there's a bit of a, a tunnel going down there i didn't see that before and that could split off into this highway that could be kind of cool so first up let's have a look at this junction what can we do here to actually make this a little better so we can see we have two lanes coming into a two and then going into here uh, and then we've also got uh, two lanes coming off and going into a two lane. Um, what I could possibly do is I could turn this into a two into a one, so they turn in, uh, maybe. Or we could get into a two to come down, two to come on, and then a one to go across there. And then that lane can choose which lane it wants to go into to get around to the next, well, out. But I do want to go into TMPE, and we do have the priority signs. And if I hold shift, we can see there's a whole big circle around here. And if I click, automatically assigning a roundabout, it gives you the right here, shift click, bulk air, edit priority signs on a road slash roundabout so we can see now that the cars that come up here are going to give way to why are you parking have i got are you guys parking it hello no no parking allowed on these roads thank you so who would park right there are you stupid let's make sure nobody parks along this road whatsoever thank you very much i can just hold shift or is it control it's one of them and it should do the whole road we don't want anybody parking it's, it's a bloody highway and a main road you bloody spoons so back to this junction, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it how it is. I want this vehicle to come along here and choose which lane it goes into to go along there. So for now, I'm just kind of going to go into the um, marking tool and I'm going to make a solid line straight to there and a solid line straight to there. I'm just going to bring one here as well. And we're going to actually going to fill this in. Uh, we're going to... I'm going to hold Alt, and now I can select these points here, just like this, uh, well, like that. And now I can fill that in, because that's not going to be occupied, right? Uh, I wonder if I can put a pavement here, because that will kind of mark blending with that, right? So if we do a pavement, it actually does. So that pathway here, well, technically not a pathway, but a, a barrier, could actually blend into there. And if we come out of this and go into our painting tool here, and just use a small brush, uh, like a single brush, we can kind of just kind of paint over this. And it kind of blend in together like that. It doesn't look too bad. I don't want to put anything here like a tree or something because who puts a tree on a roundabout? You're going to obstruct whatever is turning. Uh, and then eventually I want to... Well, not eventually. I want to turn off uh, this uh, we're crosswalks. I want to turn that off. So disable that. And then I'm going to... Oh, I've got these still on off as well, haven't I? God damn it. Let's disable crossings there. We don't want them. And then we're going to get the marking tool. And then we're just going to grab this blue line, connect it to that blue line, and create a dotted path. And then we're going to do the same here. Uh, but we can see these dots are a bit more further out than what these ones are. So I'm actually going to go into here. And I want to make sure uh, the width... Is it the width? Not the width. The um, spacing. We're going to increase the spacing so it kind of matches up with the ones that are down here. Uh, and the dash length does need to be increased a bit. We're kind of getting around to that location there. And I'm gonna what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this like that. And then I'm going to find the other one, which is that one. And then I'm just going to paste that. Hopefully that works. I don't think it worked. <laughs> I don't think it worked. 16 and 3.7. 16 and 3.7. I can just use the mouse wheel. It's so much easier than typing or whatever. Uh, and then once we've got this, we can kind of play around with what's going on up here as well. So, for example, I can bring this in here if I wanted to and 
make some form of thing going on here. But let's just sort out these junctions because we can see this left-hand road here is actually allowing this turn in here, which we don't want. So we're going to disable that uh, and make sure that nothing is turning where it needs to, like that one. Why would you come up here to turn back onto that road? Makes no sense. Uh, and what I want to do as well is I want to make sure that this right-hand light side lane here is only allowing to turn right and the same here as well. And then this way we can choose which one you want to go. Do you want to go straight down the middle and so on? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into the marking tool and make sure that this line and this line are actually connected up like that. So it means that they're they're going to be forced to turn off. Well, not forced. I say it looks like they're going to turn off. <laughs> it's only a marking tool. Allows you to do some cool things. Uh, maybe we should do a solid there, maybe. I think a solid would actually look pretty decent. And then we're going to do the same here as well. Just like that. Um... And then I don't really want to put one here than one there. I just want to kind of keep it a little organized for now because I'm no expert in this game whatsoever. I'm just having a lot of fun. Next up, I want to be looking at uh, speeds. So uh, I don't want to do too much crazy speeds here, but I would like at least 35 on the inbound and outbound. Uh, and I guess we can do 35 all the way down this road. Let's hold shift. Uh do this whole section so i can do individual lanes if i wanted to or i can just hold shift uh bada bing bada bosh so 35 all the way up this road 35 on the inbound 35 going around it and i'll do 35 just coming into this and out of it as well um like that and then they can come down to a less 35 there maybe 30 there actually so and that's 48 kilometers for those that don't know and hopefully that helps i don't want to do too much detail with the uh, the actual intersection marking tool just because i know this is going to end up getting changed but i wanted to kind of show you how that mod works because you might want to play around with it yourself and it's a pretty cool mod so i do have 10,000 right now and we are looking at needing more detail demand for our residents so do i bring off a new attachment down here which is what i was thinking about doing anyway for a new residential down here and then we can connect this residential up to this residential here so maybe sometimes they won't choose the highway well not the highway the roundabout but it all depends on the speeds as well if a, if a car can go from here to here it'll probably use this route well because one it's 35 miles per hour here and i think 20 on these roads so let's go with uh, a new uh, branch off this uh, roundabout. And we're going to bring this to... We may as well just pull it off here, right? So let's just get a nice straight. Some of you have mentioned that, bitch, you should... You should use the roundabout, um, what's it called, uh, mod. Uh, I've used it in the past, but I kind of... I, I'm a person that likes to build things from scratch, if that makes sense. I think that makes sense. I'm actually going to bulldoze out. It's a little bit too long for my liking. Um, let's bring it to about there, and then I can bring the bend from that as well. Uh, so now we are going to do the... Should I do a one lane in and out? Yeah, we can do. I don't want to build too much of a future, like, into the future here. So we're just going to do a one way. We're going to make sure we turn um, uh, Anarchy on and connect that up to there. Let me grab you. Uh, I, I, I did not mean to... I deleted the... Oh, my God. I deleted the wrong thing. My control Z's not working. Let me quickly pick you up. Grab the eyedropper tool. Um, <laughs> I think we've, I think we've kind of screwed up here a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, that kind of looks okay. I'm just gonna use the move it tool now and kind of tweak this a little bit. Um, it doesn't look very much like a circle anymore. But let's do some minor tweaks to it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to get this to do what it needs to do. <laughs> like I said, I'm no expert in the game. I'm just kind of getting re reused, well, used to it again. I need to turn snapping off. Okay, connect. Okay, it connected. And then we wanna go from you to you. Okay, bada bing, bada bosh. We've sorted it, we've fixed it. Right, now let me quickly fix this junction so it works with what it needs to work as. All right, so I think I've done that. I'm having a little bit of a problem now because, like, some vehicles are coming up here. They're turning to right here, but they're going in here just to turn there to come back around again. 
And I think that's just because, um, well, what if you look in the TMPE here, I've actually kind of forced them onto the, either the first lane or the second lane. If they're in this right-hand side lane here, I only want them to go this way if they're going to turn here, right? I don't want them in the outside lane to then cross here into the inside lane to turn that way. It makes no sense. There we go. Look at this hot dog van. He's just... Decided to go in here to turn around there like an absolute spoon. So I think as soon as I extend this road down here, I think it's definitely going to help for sure. Um, but I've kind of made this little intersection here and it kind of looks nice. It looks like a little shuriken kind of little little thing, right? The only thing is it kind of jumps out a little. It looks a little chubby here, you know. It's, it's a work in progress and I kind of filled in these spots as well. And it's a little progress. And the good thing about you guys watching me do this is you can see me learning along at the same time and just seeing how this works out. Um, but I kind of like in this little little intersection here, you could say, this little turn off. And I've also changed these to two roads as well. And because technically a three going into another three, which went into a, a one, made no sense. Uh, like this one here and uh, you can see I've got a three road which is one's going off so it turns this into a two which kind of makes sense and then these two can choose if they want to swap lanes here or if they're going to go in the inside to turn off all that kind of stuff um but I, it's, it's looking okay <laughs> um but let's start working on this area down here so we're going to bring a uh, road a road a road uh, and we're just, what is it? Is this the new one? Four late? Wait, is this new? This is new part of the update, right? Looks it. Uh, anyway, let's just get a normal standard two lane road. We're not doing anything crazy right now. I probably will do eventually. <laughs> I've got the hiccups. But like I said, I want to turn this into a bit of a smooth turn here. Let me turn anarchy off because things gonna, might get a little crazy. I'm just put snapping on as well. Eh. Turn all of them back on. Okay, space already occupied. What do you mean? This base is already occupied. Uh, and then we're just going to turn this down here just like that. Also, when I was doing the doing all that kind of stuff, we upgraded to our town as well. We are now a tiny town, which means we unlock parked areas, industrial areas, pedestrian areas, landscape and event policies, uh, park policies. We unlocked um, the fishing industry now, level two unique buildings, football, concerts, and a lot of new policies regarding bands and this kind of stuff so no smoking in this kind of part of the city celebrate areas improve logistics and we did this is the new four lane road we got so it is part of the uh, the new dlc i thought i recognized it in uh, in what's he called's video uh, talking about it and all that stuff uh, but we can see that we got zoo paths now zoo path decorations amusement parks fishing routes small industry road medium industry road i'm just thinking i don't think i've ever used these before i might put these in my industry area because i think they cost less right a two-way concrete road with two lanes small industry road is cheaper than regular two lane road but generate more noise pollution supports low traffic i might use them inside me oh we got keys as well well canals i don't think i want to play with water just yet because i have a feeling i'll i will like flood my town but we got high schools some new ones tennis courts bouncy castle some parks nice so without further ado, let's look into, before we, because as you know me, I get way too easily distracted. I see one thing, I see like a butterfly, and I go, oh, a butterfly, and I start working on looking at that, and my brain just wanders. So let me know in the comments if your brain just does that. You'll see one little cool thing, and next thing you know, you're, you're working on another project, and next thing you know, you're working on another project because you're trying to work on another pro uh, You know what I mean. I I know what I mean. I know what I mean. Where is the... Um, I want to do a straight line. I want to do a free... I just want to turn snapping off, right? I just want to turn snapping off. There we go. So let's kind of go with that. I think I'm just going to make this multiple streets down here. Um, I don't really want to make this a area for congestion because it might be a little bit too close. Actually, I don't... I don't think it is because that's a lot closer right there isn't it i'm, I'm okay with this one uh, but let's uh, make sure that the we're gonna do another street up here hello there we go let's do that and make sure that our we have enough space for some houses and we should be good i don't think i want to do i want to connect this up i could do i guess uh, and make it a one-way kind of system maybe let's do that bring these together do a couple of commercial down here. Yeah, why not? Why not? So let's just kind of paint this in. Let's go with some some houses down here. It might look a little weird for now, but like I said, I'm getting back into the game. So things are about to break. <laughs> things will break. Things might look a little shoddy. Live with it. <laughs> um, and let's put... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not make, in fact, these ones here. Let me put the filler on because these are... Wait. Eh. Eh. Let's not make these ones houses. 
Um, we can make these ones houses on the ends, like this. Um, but I think I'm going to make these commercial. Because we do need a bit more commercial. It looks like we need some more industrial now as well. And uh, to be honest, we don't really have much room for that. So it might be time for us to maybe look at... We have 29,000. We're only getting 381, but that will... In Wait, did I increase taxes? I don't remember if I increased taxes or not. I didn't. Let's put that up to 12. Give me more money. That's gone up to 435 weekly income tax. We'll see that change in a minute. And I want to look at taking this over here now, but we might have to remove these power lines before we do so. So let's get a road. Let's just get you. I might have to bulldoze you back a little bit to make this a bit more of a smoother road, but let's hit pause real quick. Delete this road. And if I remember correctly, if I do, um, I'll try to remember. Oh. Didn't want to do that. Uh, I, I think it's page up and page down. Is it? It is, but I can't. Uh, nope. Nope. I forgot how to do the raise without doing the the the, uh, the thing. I do this, right? Bridges. Forest bridges. Here we go. Uh, yes. This is what we want. Okay. So we want to go from here, right? And we want to go over, right? So this is the thing we want to do. Like, nope. Nope, nope, we gotta go from there and then build the road in. So like, wait, wait, I'm trying to remember how to do this. Do that, get the bridge, and then we're gonna raise you up like this. But I wanna bend you a little bit, yes. Like, no, not like that, that looks a little, wait. It's just, let's just remove the, the power thing. Stop, I can hear you guys shouting at the screen. Stop shouting, all right? Stop. <laughs> Stop shouting at your monitor, all right? I can hear you. Bloody hell. Well, I can't, but <laughs> I know what I mean. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. I don't want to make this too, like, too crazy. I think, is that going to be fine? That might be fine. Um, let's turn. Can you stop snapping there? Okay. Wait. Yeah. Um. I'm going to use the move it mod, I think, in a minute. There we go. Take that across. Just, just um, let's make a straight here. Um, it's wrapping on itself because it's doing that. And then that's when I'm gonna, I want to take this down, right? To uh, to ground level here. Just like just like this. Like that. And then I bring this one back in. And then we pick it to another rod. Yay! That's worth it, isn't it? I can just use the move it mod now. Kind of, you know, just kind of just do what I want with this. If I wanted to kind of just make it a little the way I wanted it, kind of... Yeah? I don't know why I need to bend it, because technically it's straight anyway, isn't it? I could even, if I wanted to, remove this whole pillow and just... <laughs> I could just do that if I wanted to. I remember doing that. Yeah, let's not maybe bend this then. Let's keep it straight. Um, I've got to keep an eye on this junction, to be honest. I've got to keep an eye on that, because that could be a lot of traffic coming from there over here to come back onto the highway, where technically an industry area might want to just go straight onto the highway here. Hmm? But anyway, let me move that, straighten that up a little bit, and then we're going to... We've got that work in there. Maybe, 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 maybe I just upgrade this road. I might upgrade this road to a uh, a, a two-way kind of. That might be the, the best option for now. Because this, that's a bit bendy there, isn't it? Have I bent? I have bent that. Why did you, oh, why did you bend that bit? Okay, cool. It's not straight. <laughs> it's not straight. I need to straighten it up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That looks a little better, right? Looks a little better. We've got enough room. There's going to be no clipping of things. I've done that in the past where I've gone like, oh, that's a nice little bridge. I look under it. There's like trucks smashing into the under bit of the bridge. Um, but yeah, it's kind of... Oh, God, did I do power? Oh, no. I didn't do power over here. Um, Let's just kind of... Eh, let's connect you to there like that. And let's bring in some water as well. Otherwise, I'm going to get angry people. I want to make sure we attach this to the, to the road. Because we know pipes go under roads. We know this. That's a good point. Does it, I don't think it does that in every country, though. I know it does in the UK. There we go. They've got water. Bada bing, bada bosh. I wonder why they... Oh, yeah, because the water pump's over there. Uh, but now, we may as well just carry this road on here. And we're just going to take it straight up. We're going to take it straight up and... Whoop. That's a long enough road, I think. Maybe I have. To, maybe I should do some houses over here. Like, you know, cheap houses. Um... For the people that are going to be possibly working over here, maybe. Oh, and uh, that's a good point. I need to bring uh, you back. Wait, do we? It's technically connected there, right? So, yeah, we can actually remove this. This doesn't need to be here. Uh, let's connect. Delete you. Because the only thing that needs to connect is there. These houses are close enough anywhere to connect. Yeah, I think we're fine and dandy with that. Okay. You guys want to get power in a minute. 
we're gonna get some more industrial down here so maybe this is where we do the industrial roads the question is where are they where are they here they are small industry road industry road so let's kind of just go from here to just make this block it why not let's turn snapping back on again get the grid back on and here we go bob is your uncle we've got a little grid we can we can just bring this down here just to the tippity top like that and then get our first industry to kind of um no i don't want you to do that i want you to kind of just paint that there and then i want you to be painted and then you and then you whoa whoa whoa, whoa. Why are you on an angle? Because I did that. Uh, but what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to remove these four here, just so I can extend that road in the future, so then, then people aren't going to be angry when I remove the building. Uh, and then we're going to do that. I think that might work-ish, maybe. Um, anyway, let's put that in there. Let's get some power across here, which technically we won't need to, because there's already power here. Um, we could technically remove you, just like that. And hopefully these will start building up across here. We are need to, going to need to bring water. Let's kind of take you from there to here and then back down again bada bing bada bosh we've just gotta uh speed up time now and see what happens so let's do that Okay, so let's remove that, 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 and that, because during the time lapse, I noticed the cars were parking there. Uh, and to be honest, I don't want them parking anywhere down these roads. They can park in the residential zones, and that is it. Uh, and well, technically down here, maybe not at this junction at some point, but things are smooth right now. I do, I do... I do see some possible underlying problems later down the line, but I think that will come when it needs to, because I do want some problems to persist within the city so we can fix them and then you guys can visibly see them. Uh, and in case you are new to the game yourself and you just want to just watch me trying to fix it and be an idiot, uh, but also you might want to learn something at the same time, because who knows? You never know. You never know. Um, I'm just watching here as well. You can see the vehicles turning out here. I just want to know just in case some vehicles are oh they are turning onto that second lane okay good to know because i was just wondering then if they if they're being forced to go onto this lane and going all the way down I need to come back again and doing a u-turn right here um this road these roads that are leading to the the roundabout will have to be changed eventually probably like a two by two or something um for sure um but right now the other concern is um is this junction here we do have a one way um which this is a one way and it's they are able to turn left and turn right we've got to keep an eye on these industrial places one is get to the commercial industry as well so we're gonna keep an eye on that this is up and growing and we do need more residential area so uh we have got a library to put down and we're sitting on foot what is this high capacity we've not got a school yet oh look that's a pretty nice school that's pretty cool i like kind of like the brutalism of it because you know how that's what I like to do my satisfactory builds. And public library as well. Maybe we should throw school down. Maybe we'll put it over here. And if we do it over here, we'll have to, oh, we've not got buses yet or anything, have we? But we do have that train line along there. I like how I'm pointing with a school. <laughs> This reminds me of a like a British school. Kind of reminds me of the high school I went to, to be honest. It's like l shape kind of block. It's what my, where I did my English in, in fact. <laughs> we called it all block. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look then. Let's let's definitely pull that school in here. So let's bring, um, let's get a normal uh, street here. Uh, what's this one? That's the new one, isn't it? Um, this one. I want to grab this street right here. And we are going to bring this along here a little bit. And I'm thinking about maybe putting the school behind. And we could even look at uh, maybe just um, grab you make you a sh wait that is a straight why are you bending is that because of that it is yeah maybe i pull this along here space already occupied i know i'm just trying to create some some form of shape here that could help me out with this filling this space up a little bit let's turn the snapping off a little bit there we go let's kind of go with that maybe i pull this down here like this and maybe I put that into there, onto that. I don't see why we can't do that. How's the power looking here? Um, let's change this power up and go from like there to there. That would be the best thing. Then we can bulldoze this one as well, just like that. And then start bringing in some houses over here, which is just going to be full houses. So, <gasps> oh, that's industry. No, no. 
Oh, I don't want to do that. There we go. And then you just paint it just like this. Ever so slightly and careful. We get some small houses down there and all you need to do is just flick. Just flick like that and let, let the brush do the work. Um, okay, so... Bob Ross out the way. Um, let's have a look at bringing this rod down here. We got a bit of. We do have a. We don't have a bit of a hill section here. Okay. Anyway, let's kind of take this along like this, and we're just going to take this one up here as well. I'm just kind of go with blocky for now, like just kind of like any builder does at the beginning of their uh, little skyline journey, and then eventually I will uh, do some. What's going on here? Snappity dap dap. There we go. Okay, I feel like we've got a bit of, a little bit of organization, you know? Just gonna bring this up a little bit more. You're going up onto a hill over there, so I think I'm just gonna, let's delete you off there, and let's pull in a bend, um, just like this, right? And take this around here, um, like that, and kind of just connect you to there. Delete this off there, and then pull in some more, pull in some more houses, maybe. Uh, let's pull these houses across here, uh, and we'll do some houses all the way along there, just like this. Bada bing, bada bosh, and do that. And then we can just go all the way around. Oh, I don't want to go all the way over there. No, no. I'm going to throw a bit of commercial here at the end, and uh, Bob's your uncle. Uh, I think we are going to need to do some plumbing. We are. Let's kind of pull this in over here, like that. Okay, cool. Wait, let's have a look at the uh, the school. I want to use this school, right? This this kind of elementary school. Um, let's kind of throw this down like here. Look at that. That's a nice school. Imagine going to an elementary school like that. That looks like something out of Cyberpunk. Do you know the actual building you actually live in and there's like a boxing ring and everything and you kind of come down and you have food at that little sushi place? Kind of, kind of reminds me of. Okay, so it seems we have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Whilst we're watching all these little cinematic stuff, my town is dying <laughs> because apparently we don't have water availability because do we not have power? Are we? <gasps> We're out of power. Well, I guess it's time to put a couple of uh, uh, of windmills, <laughs> windmills, turbines uh, down up on the hill. Uh, try and give me a little bit of four megawatts, three megawatts. That's not good enough. Over here is going to give me like six. I guess it will look nice if we put like, oh, wait, I've got 11,000 left. Okay, one more will do. One more. And then let's bring just that up here like that. And hopefully that helps. There we go. It's starting to go down. Starting to go down. Look at them all. And gone. <laughs> wait, what's going on over here? Wait, do you guys not have water at all? <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. Happy now? You should be happy now. All right. So, things are kind of looking up. We are getting closer because we do need uh, 2,400 to become a boom town. And we unlock a new area as well. And come to think of it, I don't know what new areas will unlock. Wait, I can unlock an area now. Hmm. I'm thinking going down here, heading south so we can fill in this area here. Utilize this highway. Maybe put something down here. Hopefully, if we can put some form of industrial, maybe a farm. That'd be kind of nice. Um, but we've also got this area up here, but there is more hills as well. So... We are in a bit of a challenge uh, fighting the hills, but I think we need to, well, grow our economy right now on the, the flats. And then eventually, once we've got some cash, we can start working our way up, up to these tabletops and, uh, yeah, doing it that way. It does seem we are in need for some more commercial, uh, and I'm just wondering, have we got anywhere to kind of do that? I don't really want to put any on these fronts here. Um, mate. Could we just do like a, should we do a bit of commercial here? You know, like just like, a, like run down commercial. Maybe that will help, you know? So if they're working, you know, they're like, hey, Jim, you, you want a sandwich for lunch? Yeah, sure, Pete. I mean, let's go down the street. Let's go to Subway down here. Grab ourselves a, a baguette with some meatball marianas and no lettuce and cucumbers with, you know, with a bit of mayonnaise, I guess. Weird combo, but still, you catch my drift, right? <laughs> but at least we've still got houses going in. I think we might actually hit this. Milestone. We need 2,400. We're currently on two, well, near enough 2,200. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we actually get it. Oh, it seems we're having more power issues. Um, I'm going to have to put a couple more of these down. 
two mega. That's not enough, that is it. Six thousand. It's not worth it, is it really? I don't want to really put them there because that's going to cause really bad noise pollution. Why is these flats down here like giving me good? Look at this up here. That's well nice. But I would demolish this like, you know, history thing up here. Just put me put, put some power down. Wait, I could actually. No, actually, we have this right here. Why did I not see this before? You guys are probably shouting at the screen. Bits, look over where you, the river is. There's really good wind placement over there. <laughs> no, I'm a spoon. I didn't see it. Probably somebody's already commented whilst I was putting them down before. So this is me answering your comment earlier, you absolute spoon. So don't delete it. <laughs> All right. So that should help with the power. Uh, are we okay for what? Yeah, we're okay for water ability. Uh, we can see all the good old poop flowing down there. Uh, and hopefully we don't accidentally make them drink it later on but my town is coming on nice and slowly uh, and we are about to in just over 65 residents 55 50 to become a boom down and there we go boom down uh, we've reached a population of 2,400. It means we get airport areas. We've now got access to public transport, taxi services, tours, ferries, uh, more buses, postal services, trams, or industry specializations. New policies, recycling, plastic free Wi Fi. Oh boy. Uh, some, some new roads here. We've got some automatic uh, intersections, uh, bus lanes. These are the new bus lanes that I believe that are in the new DLC. I could be highly wrong. Some big old mega roads here. Here. Oh boy. Three lane highway viaduct, water pipe, and with heating pipes. Technically not needed because we need. Oh, we're going to have to put one of them down first, don't we? At some point. And I think that's a good time to end this video because we've got this new industrial area down here. We've got this new residential. We added the elementary school here. We've got a small little police station, fire station, clinic, and all that kind of good stuff. So. If you want to see more, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. And I've noticed this is starting to back up. So without further ado, we'll fix that in the next video. So check out my other content right here. And as always, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.